Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Complex Crystal Psychic Monotype Challenge. In the last episode, we defeated Morty at the Ecrutique City Gym after seeing the new crystal cutscenes for um, Suicune, Entei, Raikou, all that stuff. In this episode, we are going to try, try and avoid those stupidly high-level trainers just outside here um, in Union Cave. Try and avoid them. And then be able to hopefully um, catch us some new members to the team, which would be really awesome if we could do that. Um, but we've got to get there first, and we've got to hope that we can um, outmaneuver those high level trainers. And so I will actually be saving here just so I can um, try and dodge around them. Because um, I th think the. F I can't remember actually. But yeah, but hopefully we should be able to get two new members of the team, which would be pretty awesome. Um, and complete, you know, complete our team of six. And we should be then in a really nice position to go ahead and try and, you know, start pushing to complete this game. And we need to move over here because that's the first guy. That was the guy who caned us last time, despite having type advantage on both of his Pokemon, his Graveler and his Machoke. We could not take them down because... He was level 50-odd, and we were level 20-odd. So, this guy is a spinner, as you can see, he spins around. What we're going to do is we are going to save um, here, just so we can try and avoid him. Stop looking up there. See? That's what they do. That's what they do. As soon as you go for it. But there we go. Okay, so we get past him. And we've got another guy. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get past this guy. Um, hopefully we can. And then we'll be able to add to our team. So, hmm, this is a strange place. So, Psychic Nathan, he has one Pokemon. It is only level 26, though. So, it's a Giraffe Rig. We should be able to take this down. I'm pretty sure that hasn't actually changed. So, maybe it's just like a mistake and um, the maker of the game hasn't actually changed that trainer. But there we go. So, we defeat Psychic Nathan, who has a Giraffe Rig. And the reason that... Giraffe rig are one of the main reasons why we are here, because I would love to be able to catch the giraffe. So we're going to put this Natu to sleep. We're going to lick, because I reckon that won't take it out. Natu is one of the Pokemon we want to catch, so we have great balls. There we go, we catch a Natu, the little bird Pokemon. So obviously, Flying Psychic um, gives us access to fly, gives us access to a lot of nice things, actually. Um, so it's only a, a viable option for us. Um, now, I'm going to swap in Eevee because Eevee needs the levels. And hopefully what we're going to run into is a Giraffe Rig. So according to the um, course, he gets a crit hit pack. So yeah, according to the um, accompanying uh, handout or sort of a document that comes with downloading this game, um, Giraffe Rig, which isn't usually available in Crystal, has been moved to the Ruins of Alf, and here we see. So I am saving this because it's obviously not the most common uh, Pokemon around this area. We're going to headbutt. That uh, does too much. We're going to go into Jinx now. Uh, we're going to sing. Get it to sleep. There we go. And then... Actually, well, we might as well go for the North Pool. Let me just save. And there we go. So we catch a Giraffe Rig as well, the long neck Pokemon. So that completes our team. We have a team of Espeon, eventually. Jinx, Alakazam, Starmie, um, Zartu, eventually, and Giraffe Rig. And that will be our team for this game. So all we now need to do is exit. Um, I think the quickest way to exit is actually going to be to do this. Um... And obviously, so that implies that it's a ho -oh. All we need to do is make this puzzle. It shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Start off with the corners, obviously. Um, these are edges. That looks good there. I'm gonna go for this. It's pretty symmetrical as well. That always helps. Um, that looks like that belongs. <sighs> Maybe there. Probably. That certainly looks like it belongs there. And that one goes there. That 
goes there. I don't think that goes there. That goes there. Maybe that goes there. Hmm. Interesting. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can just quickly get through this puzzle. Um, I'm pretty sure that might go there, I guess. And then that goes, yeah, that goes there, okay, that works. So if we just put these on the edges, because I think they do go edges, and then I think all we need to do is swap these two around. I say that, but that looks obviously doesn't look right. Um, Yeah, there we go, that's the hello that we know. Okay, so we do that. That should... That isn't it? Which ones need to be replaced? Maybe the bottom two, I think. Okay, so I'm a bit confused. I guess the only other ones that could be the yeah, there we go. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. That goes there. Boom. So there we go. We get uh, dropped through the floor. Um, we'll obviously see some unknown around here, but we won't bother catching any because whilst being psychic type, as I mentioned in the previous episode. Um, Whilst they are psychic type, um, they are also legendary Pokemon, and I have a no legendary claws as an extra person here. So, ah, yeah. So we get Arthur of Thursday here, who gives us a hard stone. Um, I was just, you know, checking. Looked like there was an extra person there. I was right. Um, so what we're we gonna do now? We're now gonna head back to Ecritique, Um but we are also gonna go to Bill's PC. We are going to deposit in. Cyndaquil and Togepi, and we are going to withdraw our new Giraffe Rig and our new Zatu. And we have some TMs that we can teach these guys. So, Shadow Ball goes on Giraffe Rig, um, as opposed to, let's say, Growl. Uh, could give it a return, I guess, but I think it won't learn too much quickly. Raw Rock Smash. Does anyone learn Dig Only Kadabra? Nightmare's no real use to us because um. So yeah, okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now we are going to make our way back to that critique, and then we will start heading um, towards Jasmine. Uh, and Olivine City. So we need to start heading this way. And so our Pokemon are currently level 28, 20, 32, 31, 29, and our two wild Pokemon are actually level 28, both of them, which is actually pretty good. Um, obviously gives us a pretty uh, flexible thing. So let's see how good our new Pokemon contest with... Um, the remaining ones on the team. I love the, um, of course, stupid idiot. Sorry. Ooh, I'm just doing very silly things like trying to use Shadow Ball on a normal type. Um, and that would have saved me being hit. But no, it's nice to have a full team this early, because obviously in previous playthroughs and in previous challenges, I've certainly struggled to find a full team in... Um, quickly, so it's quite nice to actually have a pretty uh, early access to um, a full team. We're going to take on Beauty Valerie here, who starts off with a Jumpler. Um, 
Obviously, the smart thing is to go into Jinx here, but we can stay in if we would. Poison powder misses. We probably should have. Okay, if we stomp. There we go. Okay, cool. And our next Pokemon is a Blossom. Um, Blossom is pure Grass type, I think. So I'm going to go into Znatu, and we are going to Peck. Which will be super effective. I don't think it'll do that much. Is that a shiny Blossom? Um, well, it's using Sunny Day, which means... Solar Beam is coming? No, Petal Dance. Really? You got a crit hit, Petal Dance. Of course you did. Um, so there we go. Giraffe Rig goes to level 29. We get poison, unfortunately, but we're going to be able to heal that up. Uh... I admittedly, I shouldn't have done that because we're just going to go back to the Pokemon Center. Um, yeah, no, um, yeah, that was interesting. That Blossom looked very, obviously, the usual Blossom that I've seen, um, including the one that I used, had pink leaves. So maybe is the red one the shiny version, or is that just t um, version differences, as in, like, the difference between this game and Silver? Anyway, so the next guy is Birdkeeper Toby. He has some... Um, bird Pokemon, obviously. So, Pokemon is a Dodrio. We're going to go into Kadabra here, and we are going to Thunder Punch. And that does huge amounts of damage, even though it's got Pursuit. And then, last Pokemon is a Skarmory. We're going to stay in with Kadabra, and we are going to Fire Punch. And there we go, sweet. So, that was pretty simple. Um, we should be able to zip through this area, actually. Um, our team is pretty powerful. Um, obviously, as you can see, I am having to heal a lot, and that is because my team, whilst powerful, is also frail, um, as tends to be for psychic types, uh, it must be said. So, but we're all really nice levels. I like the fact that we're all between, um, 28 and 32. That's a really nice sort of level boundary. Stara can now start learning levels because we have our fourth bad, which will allow her to, um, She's going to obey us, which is really good, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so this Quagsire, this Quagsire, how much is how much is 28 HP? That's about a quarter. Water gun does slightly over, but we should be able to survive. Only survive three. Okay. Uh, we got a confusion. So see, Giraffe Rig, um, Giraffe Rig is going to struggle because Giraffe Rig doesn't have the, the greatest stats um, in general, um, and certainly doesn't have the best special attack, or certainly for a psychic type, it has much, it actually has better attack than special attack. And for that reason, um, we're likely not to actually have a psychic type move on Giraffe Rig by the final um, build. So, we're now going to take on Alas Dana. She starts off with an Ampharos, which is obviously terrible news for Natu. Um, we have nothing super effective against Electric types yet, and we won't until we get Earthquake, I guess. Um, so, we're going to go into Eevee. Because Eevee can tank um, special attacks relatively well. And as you can see, Headbutt has that lovely chance to flinch, which is always really nice. Next Pokemon is a Golduck. Obviously not a Psychic type, um, despite all of its sort of Psychic characteristics. Even Psyduck. Psyduck's not a Psychic type. It's got the word Psy in it, and that's that. I'll share my gifts with you. Let me get your phone number, but your phone's out of memory. Okay, so we have no more room for um, phone calls, but that's okay, because we're not really going to worry about people giving us um, phone calls at this point. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so this is, um, Nightshade is perfectly viable against the Mr. Mime, and we defeat Schoolboy Chad pretty simply. We're now going to take on this one. Beauty Olivia, who has a Corsola of all Pokemon. Um, I'm going to switch out just in case it's got something like Ancient Power, um, but we can go into Giraffe Rig here, and we can confuse... We can... Confusion, yeah, Shadow Ball. Both of them do pretty well. So obviously they're, they're talking about the Moo Moo Milk here. Um, 
Don't sell a bottle at a time. Um, yeah, you can stop the Pokemon from evolving. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to get the Moo Moo Milk here because we don't have seven berries, so we can't heal the cow. Um, but we're just going to keep moving. We're going to get to Olivine, and then I think... Well, it depends what we want to do after that. Um, your Special Defense Rise is not going to help you at all. Your Reflect is not going to help you at all as well. Please stop recovering. Can I stall you out of recovers? There we go. Okay. So Nazi takes out that Kadabra, and that's pretty okay. Next up is the Drowsy. We will now go into Jarafric. We will chest out this Shadow Ball, and it does a huge amount, which is really good. And um, that's what we want to see. We woke up first turn, wake up, but we were confused, and we cut for confusion as well. So we got certainly got some luck there. Um, and Natu is already evolving in this episode, which is pretty awesome. We get our very own Zatu, which is brilliant. And Zatu has obviously got much better stats. Let's just have a look at our stats, just very quickly. So Zatu, 56, 59, 63, 61. That's not bad. Look at that special attack on Kadabra, 94, and speed, 86. Star, you still struggling? Um, EV is obviously also not evolved, but Jinx is also pretty high. 86 in special, 70s in just special defense and special attack. So here we are. Here is the Mumu farm. Um, we are not going to be able to heal the cow because we don't have all the berries and we don't really care. Um, but we're going to take on these Pokey fans down here. We start off against Ruth, who has a Raichu, which is bad news. Um, we're going to go into... Eevee. Thunderstruck does a bit to us. Quick Attack does even more. Um, because it has Quick Attack, it's going to use that most likely. So I'm going to use the Lemonade. Yeah, Lemonade to heal Eevee. Use Thunderbolt. That's good. Oh, no. okay, so it went for Thunder Shock there for some reason. Um, once again, I can heal up, goes for Quick Attack, and we can Headbutt. That should finish off this Raichu. And there we go. The Raichu goes down. Do you know about baby Pokemon? I bet they're just adorable. And then we're going to take on Pokemon Derek, who's got a Persian. Um, so Nightshade won't affect it because it's ghost type. Um, Peck isn't going to be super effective. We are going to go into... We need a physical wall. We don't have a physical wall because all of our Pokemon are really slow, are really weak. Sorry, I'm going to go into Giraffe. Break. See how Giraffe? Wow, it's got bite. That kind of sucks. Uh, that takes Giraffe break down. Uh, we're going to go into Eevee then. And we're going to headbutt. That is nothing. And it's got faint attack as well. This is bad. Um, we'll go into Star You now, and we will surf. I want to see how much that... Ah, there we go. So that's a two-hit KO. Star destroys the Persian and grows to level 30. Pikachu, is it? Don't you agree? No, because you had a Persian. So why are you talking about Pikachu? Don't know why this person is hoping it's going to get dark soon. Maybe we'll be able to talk to her later on. But anyway, so... we got a Sailor here with a Poliwhirl. Um... We're going to hope that he's got a Poliwrath. That would be pretty cool. Um, cool in the sense that we can destroy it with um, our Psychics. So there we go. We take out the Poliwhirl. He's got a Clefable, um, for which we'll go into Stara. So here's a four-hit KO. Yeah, four hits. And Swift. And then his final Pokemon is a Kingler. We'll go back into our Kadabra and we will Thunder Punch this thing. So there we go. Nice and simple. We defeat a Sailor Eugene and Trainer Tips use Headbutt to. Yeah, we already know that. So here we are in Olivine. That thing you have. It's a Poke Gear, right? Wow, that is cool. And we see our rival once more, Alex. So, you again? There's no need to panic, I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. 
Boo-hoo! Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that it can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It might make you a bit less weak. And off he goes, because he's a twat. So we can go here, we can pick up a good rod. Again, I have no idea why I'm doing this, because, like, good rods obviously means nothing to me. We have the Pokemart here. My... My best friend came from my boyfriend overseas. I carried some mail from him. Want to know what it says? It's a secret. Do you know your Pokemon already know the move for carrying... Do your Pokemon already know the move for carrying people over water? Yes, they do, which is awesome. And here we are in the Olivine Mart. We see all of the evolutionary stones. So we will buy a water stone, uh, because we will need a water stone. We won't need anything else, though. Um, uh, we also need to heal up, so we're just going to quickly pop here. So, the sea is sweet, sunsets on the sea are marvellous. Sing with me, yo ho ho, yo ho, man. No. So we'll heal up, and then we'll do some chatting. The sailor in the Olivine Cafe next door is really generous. He taught my Pokemon strength, and now it can move big boulders. There was a person in Cyanwood City across the sea. I heard him bragging about his rare Pokemon. Pokemon get more friendly if you spend time with them. And then if we go in here, hurt your Pokemon to look lightweight so they don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this to teach some strength. So we get strength on the sea. The only thing you can count on is your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bot. Whenever I roll into this town, I always visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. So we will get strength. Then strength can be learnt, hopefully, by Girafferig, which it can, which is awesome. Um... And that can exchange for Stomp, because I think strength, strength is base 80, and Stomp is base 70, so I think we it's just a bit better. Battle Tower ahead, opening now. So we see Route 40 here. Um, I came to Olivine by... Sorry, I'll say it again. I came to Olivine by ship to see the sights and soak up the atmosphere. Being a port, it feels so different from a bigger city. Have you gone to the Battle Tower? I think a lot of tough trainers have gathered there already. But since you have so many badges, you shouldn't do badly at all. Interesting. Although you can't see it from here, Cyanwood is across the sea. Hmm, there's a big building up ahead. What is it? And if we go in here... Are you going to the Battle Tower? This is a secret, but if you win the whole lot, you can win a special gift. The levels of the Pokemon I want to use are all different. I have to go train them now. Interesting. So let's see what the Battle Tower is all about. Obviously, this is something that was introduced in Crystal and was not in Gold and Silver. So, <laughs> I snuck out from work. I can't bail out until I've won. I have to win it all. That's a must. So is this new Battle Tower music? I think so. The Battle Tower is huge. There must be many kinds of Pokemon in there. You can only use three Pokemon, it's so hard to decide which three should go into battle. Well, we might have some fun here, let's see. So, the Battle Tower. Take the Ultimate Trainer Challenge. There are lots of battle rooms, but I'm going to win them all. Mm, good luck. So, what do you have to say? I'm trying to see how far I can go using just bug Pokemon. Don't let there be any fire Pokemon. <laughs> hey, take the heart from Bugsy. You know, I'm trying to see how far I can go with just psychic types. The battle tower rules are written here. Three Pokemon may enter battle. All three must be different. The items they hold must also be different. Certain Pokemon may also have level restrictions placed on them. Marked in on the PC, so okay, this is just accessing a normal PC. It's a grueling task of not being able to use items in battle. Making your Pokemon hold items is the key to winning battles. Okay. Destroyed by the first opponent in no time at all. I'm no good. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly check, see if we have any decent... Grass-type moves doesn't really help us, obviously. Um... So let uh, Stara hold the Mystic Water. We 
we will let Giraffe Raid hold the Quick Claw. We'll give a berry to Kadabra. And we'll give a berry to Zatu. And we'll give a berry to Jinx. We'll just see what happens. I think we might as well have a go. Just to finish off this episode, because this episode is coming towards an end. So, Battle Tower welcomes you. I could show you to a battle room. Would you like to hear about the Battle Tower? Battle Tower is a facility made for Pokemon battles. Countless Pokemon trainers gather from all over to hold battles in specially designed battle rooms. There are many battle rooms in the Battle Tower. Each room holds seven trainers. Beat them all and win a prize. To interrupt the session, you must save. If not, you won't be able to resume your room challenge. So, let's do it. Excuse me, you're not ready. Only three Pokemon may be entered. Please return it when you are ready. Okay, so if we go into Bill's PC and we deposit in... Uh, let's deposit in Eevee. We need Kadabra because of type variation. We'll keep Star because Star's got Surf. We'll keep Jinx, I reckon. So yeah, let's have a look. So we sh I shouldn't have pressed yes there, she's just going through all this. So before entering the battle room, your progress will be saved. So we're going to save. What level do you want to challenge? We'll challenge level 30. A party Pokemon tops this level. What level do you want to challenge? Okay, so we can't go above the level that we're challenging. So if we want to challenge level 30, we need lower than 30. Okay, cool. So, level 40, let's see what we're facing off against. This is actually pretty cool, I quite like this. I think this is what um, we saw in Pokemon Bronze, it's sort of like similar to that. No, sorry, Pokemon Maze, that's what I meant. Except we are experiencing an extreme glitch. Oh man, okay, so it looks like, unfortunately, we are going to have to... Um, we are going to have to reset this. Let's just try something. I'm just going to go to exit. Uh, option. Uh, can I quit? How do I quit? Okay. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, the battle tower is not an availability here on... Um, for whatever reason, we're seeing a glitch here, which is unfortunate. It would have been fun to try this battle tower. I don't think, obviously, with only psychic types, it would be a struggle. But um, I might give it another go. I'll probably come back here um, when I'm not recording and just see if um, any of it works at all. Um, and if it does, that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Complex Crystal Psychic Monotype, and hope you all join me on the next episode, because obviously now we have a full roster of teams, which is awesome. Um, next episode, we're obviously going to be traveling across the sea um, from Olivine to Cianwood. Um, that should be okay, because we can destroy the Tentacruel along the way. We have a nice uh, type for taking on Tentacruel. The swarms of Tentacruel there will be. And then obviously, we should actually be okay against the Cianwood Gym Leader Chuck, because we should have a big advantage there. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will join me on the next.